welcome back to my channel so I'm actually getting ready for bed but I just had like a quick story time that I wanted to tell you guys about um so basically today I didn't get any photos I completely forgot but today I had to clean the bottom of my tongue piercing because there was food in it and then like pus started to come out of the bottom of it on it out of the top so I rinsed my mouth out with salt water and then it went away then I tried to put the piercing back in and then it was fine but um, because I had so much anxiety about that, I had to go into Keen on Piercing and ask them if, if my tongue piercing was tight enough, or I was actually asking to get a longer barbell, because I wasn't sure if it was going to start swelling, I thought it was like infected or something, and I explained the situation and everything like that, and they said it was fine, um... And then I went back and asked them if they could tighten the ball for me, and they did. They gave me a new one as well. I should have said yes to keeping the ball, but I didn't. Oh, also, fun fact, um, when she was seeing if the ball was tight enough, she did, they did tell me that, um, one of the threads had, um, come away from the piercing so that was interesting oh like from the ball like one of the threads had come loose or come off or something so my tongue is fine now I haven't had any problems since I got home I've been fine eating um, and stuff like that as you can see, I got a new nose ring as well. But yeah. I really like it. Um, I think it suits, um, oh. Is it bleeding? Or is it like pussy? Sorry, I'm like getting so close right now. Focus. Sorry, I just had to see if um the piercing was bleeding or not. But as you can see, my tongue is fine. It's held up super nicely. I'm super, super happy with it. It's literally one of my most favourite, 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 favourite piercings ever. I'm talking with a little bit of a lisp, I think. Just because I think my tongue is kind of swollen a bit at the moment. It looks like there's a bit of an irritation bump kind of thing going on. Um, but yeah. Well, that's it for this story time. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys. I know you can't see me like at all. What the heck? Okay. I know it's dark in here. And I'm so, so sorry, but I can only edit properly in the dark. For some reason, that's weird. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I have two of these cases. One is from iPhone. As you can see. Oh, that's backwards. As you can see, um, I only have, I have this for my phone, which I usually put on my cell phone. But I accidentally bought another one in the iphone 6 plus so if you've got an iphone 6 plus or know somebody that has an iphone 6 plus that likes jd vlogs you guys <coughs> could win this phone case 
Um, I don't know when I'm going to be doing the giveaway, but I'm going to be doing the giveaway. I will link down below what you've got to do to enter the giveaway. And um, then, yeah, we can go from there. So, good luck everybody. This is my first giveaway. So, I hope you guys enter. I really look forward to seeing who enters. And, um, yeah. I look forward to future giveaways. I look forward to future giveaways in the future. I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, I look forward to seeing who enters and who just who enters and who follows me on Instagram, I guess. And you can also follow me on Twitter to win. <coughs> and also subscribe to my YouTube channel to win this phone case. If you're a fan of JD Vlogs, um, I'll be picking one lucky winner. I will announce it on Instagram, but I'll also announce it in a video, in like a vlog. So make sure you stay tuned to my vlogs and videos to see if you've won this phone case. Bye guys. Hope you win. Good luck.